He's the strongest man in rap and he's here at the Ghana Music Awards. How are you doing, Strongman? I'm doing great, and you? Mm, very well. Thank you. So, uh, what's happening so far? Your category hasn't been mentioned. Yeah, the best rapper category has not so been mentioned. So you're hoping yet. that you get to pick that up? Yeah, I hope. I hope. We, Your boss has picked up one already. Yeah, my boss has picked up one already. And we, we hope to pick a lot, so we're still waiting. Lot, yeah. yeah, the night is still young. So yeah. Very, 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 very true. And, but what did you mean by that tweet that you put out that people say sack factor, sack effect, sack effect? What I was trying to say, people didn't understand what I was saying. I wasn't necessarily saying that management are not doing enough. But I said you guys, meaning I'm, I'm directing the arrow towards some people. You see, when I do well, they attribute everything to sack effect. But the moment something is wrong, they will tell you the artist is, is bad. So I was just trying to address the fact that even though there is sack effect, but I still had a, one nomination for Transformer. That means if you don't work hard, the sack effect is not going to help you. So that was what I was just trying to say. I don't know how people took it the other way and they were make, reading a whole lot of meanings into what I was trying to say. But your management get offended with that? Uh, I know Sack and you know, we, we are that cool so he wouldn't talk about it that much. Yeah, and anyway, you know, you can just, anytime you can call him and tell him that maybe you're sorry or something. So maybe we did that behind the So you did scene. that, you yeah, had to apologize yeah. to him. Now, let's move away to what people think that you were disrespectful to Hammer when you posted that on social media that he had invited you and all that. Did you feel that it was disrespectful? No, I, I don't feel it that way. But what I would try to say is, um, maybe uh, since I was angry at that time, but on the real, I've, I keep hearing people talking about that issue for like four years now. But the reason why I've not res responded yet is because it's not, I've not heard it from Hammer, right? The conversation was between myself and Hammer. And so far as other people are reading meanings into it, I don't care. But since Hammer came out to say it, it was like, no, you also need to, because Hammer is relevant. So if you don't say it, people will take it, that is the truth. So I just needed to say something, and the moment I said it, that was it all. People were reading a whole lot of meaning. I don't know, this time around, any little thing I do, people will, you know, tell you you are arrogant, you are disrespectful. But at first, when I was like four or five years ago, I used to write things which were bigger than this, but no one was reading meanings. It's just, I don't know why, but when I tell my mom, she keeps telling me it's because the shine is on you. So this time around, don't be doing such things anymore. So I decided to advise myself. Nowadays, I wouldn't talk anymore. If you say it, fine, keep it that way. It is you. I don't care about what but someone you, says. Aren't you concerned that you also begin to look back in the, the face, in the eyes of people? Because people are speaking ill about you and you don't get to respond. We might settle for that as a truth. That is why I used to, you know, talk. And when you talk to, they take it the other way. The boy is arrogant. And you know, this is a matter between a big man and a small boy. So it's obvious. This is Africa. We would take it that a young boy is arrogant. Right? Are you, are you remorseful that he had to say that? Did he have to pose that? Do you feel remorse? <laughs> you see that I'm laughing. I don't even know how to put it. On, on a more serious note, honestly, when I wrote it, I didn't feel bad about it. But management called me and he said you know Hammer is our big man like Sa called me Charlie Hammer is my big man so if you say you do respect me that means no matter whatever happens you need to you know respect Hammer as well because I I never I never said Hammer is a liar I was only reminding him I did I never said I never wrote me he's a liar but since since he's Hammer and honestly as of now if you ask me my greatest producer of all time I will still tell you he's Hammer because I love hip-hop and it's not because of whatever happened or whatever. I used to like him and I still like him as of now. So have you and apologized I'm, to him? Yeah, I've apologized and I'm taking this platform to also say I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And this time around, I will, I will take good care of myself not to, you know, cause any commotion anymore. So anything someone says, I'll keep quiet. Does this seem to be a commotion between you and T-Flo? No, I don't have any commotion between T-Flo and I. It's just that other people are making it to look that way. Because so I, I don't hate T-Flo. I will never hate T-Flo. So when you see him, what's your reaction? Oh, when I see him, we do talk. Charlie, what's up? He even calls me Vincent and I will call him, look man, what's up, Charlie, I'll be everything cool, we will talk. But it's just about the tension, it's like, he feels he's the best, I also feel the same way. So that is it all, it's not about any emotional stuff, like Charlie, when I catch you, I'll beat you, or maybe nah, it's, it's not. it hasn't gotten to that point, no. It's just hip-hop, and you know hip-hop, we need to throw shots. So he will fire some one or two shots, it will get to me, I also need to fire back. It makes the game nice anyway, beef is good, yeah, so it's good. Okay, so we're looking forward to your award, all the best.